So yesterday, I got a call from one of my clients and he was talking about one of the issues he has with one of his people who's end up being a low performer and not following the principles of the team or the company, some accountability issues. And after talking to him, he said that if I don't get this guy's behavior turned around, I'm gonna feel responsible. Which really made me think about how much do we really feel responsible for other people's behaviors. I think we've become a society, maybe we always have been, of enmeshment. We really don't have sovereignty. We really don't know what sovereignty means with respect to ourselves. So we really are not responsible for anybody else other than ourselves. And we start to get into this whole guilt thing about not being able to control other people's decisions or the behaviors that come from that. And it really gets into a big problem because we end up taking on other people's feelings and other people's outcomes as our own. And so where is there a dividing line between the self and the other? And so I think it's very important that when we start to feel other people's energy and we start to notice their behaviors, ask ourselves, is it really us that we're feeling this, this feeling around or is it somebody else's? If there's a feeling that we've taken on of somebody else, then I think it's time to return to sender, so to speak. It's not our job to make people feel the way they feel. All we can do is change our own energy, if you will, our own vibration, and honor that and hold that dear and know the difference between our outcome and other people's outcome, our feelings and other people's feelings. And I think we can achieve that kind of clarity around our own sovereignty and stop this constant learned behavior around enmeshment that we don't know the difference between self and others. When we can start to define those differences, we're going to feel a lot more free and we're going to feel a lot more able to be able to manage our own lives. So I mean, think about it. How can you possibly manage your life and somebody else's at the same time? So I guess the tip that I give myself and everybody else is, is this my feeling or is it somebody else's feeling? Is this my result or somebody else's result? And know the difference.